Hello friends. In this video, uh, we will see what is a pull request uh, in the context of Git repositories. So we have already seen in previous videos how to pull and how to merge the changes uh, into a branch. And, uh, and this term is very confusing. Uh, what is a pull and what is pull request? So pull merge is entirely a different concept. If you want to see that concept, look at the previous videos in this series. But in this video, we will uh, look at what is a pull request. Why do we need a pull request at all? Yeah. So I have created a presentation for this. And uh, let's have a look uh, at the presentation and understand what's going on in the pull request. So in normal uh, case, what we do is we have a branch like uh, this branch. Let's suppose it is a master. And we create a new branch at some point of time uh, from uh, a particular commit from that branch. But uh, still, uh, this branch is going forward in this direction. And But we have cut a new branch here. And we start developing some code into this new branch. Yeah. At later point of time, when we are done with our changes, what we do, we merge it back to the master branch. And if there is a conflict, we resolve the conflict. How to resolve the conflict? Again, we have uh, uh, some videos in this series. Please check if you don't uh, know and want to know. So this is the normal uh, workflow what we follow while we develop the code in terms of uh, uh, maintaining it uh, cleanly and uh, branching the uh, code and not uh, messing the code in the master branch and we need a clean history like what is going on in what branch yeah so this is not a big thing we follow it every day but uh, what about uh, suppose if everyone has access to the master branch everyone can create a branch and merge it back create a branch merge it back but there is no security on this branch that uh, uh, who can merge it or who cannot merge it and what needs to be looked into what rules are there those needs to be followed before somebody can merge the code into master branch because most of the cases master branch is the branch which is maintained uh, for the purpose of production okay? so we need to secure this branch uh, in terms of uh, uh, who can uh, restrict it who can uh, merge it who can uh, review it, what is going on in this branch. So what we do, like previous, we have master branch again, and we created a new branch at point of time, and then uh, committed some code. But instead of instead of merging it back to master, because we, we, we can restrict that nobody can merge directly to master. We will see how we can restrict it in Git and Bitbucket both. In next videos but let's understand the concept once this branch is restricted yeah we cannot merge directly to this branch now if we do this we will get an error okay? so in that case what the user needs to do or developer needs to do create a pull request so pull request is nothing but a request to say that okay I am done with my changes and now I want to merge this change into a particular branch. So in this case, what I say, if suppose this is the feature branch and this is the master branch, I will say this pull request is created for master branch from feature branch. So pull request from feature branch to master branch. Okay. Once this pull request is created, there will be some reviewers if uh, rules are set up that somebody has to review it before it can be merged. And we can again set those rules in the Git repository and Bitbucket and we will see how we will do it. And so once the approvers approve it, either approver or somebody else or the developer himself can merge it to the master. So. As we see, the normal flow is we can directly merge to the master. But once the master branch is restricted, the flow will be like we create a pull request. Everybody need, uh, comes to know that there is a request for the merge. He wants to approve it or reject it. 
so he can also reject it or decline it because of some uh, bad code or he can uh, he or she can put it on hold and the developer can update this uh, branch for incorporating the review comments and then there will be an approval so certain workflows are there we will see how it works in next videos for both git and bitbucket and once done uh, developer can merge it or anybody can merge it so basically there is restriction and uh, nobody can uh, merge it directly to the master and uh, this is how pull request comes into picture in the next videos uh, we will see how we can restrict this branch or any other branch to not accept direct merges without any pull request and uh, approval and we can also apply some rules like there is one build at least required uh, before anybody can merge the request in order to be sure that if something is merged to the master branch the build is not failing so this feature is very helpful but the term is confusing so pull request is the term which is different with pull so uh, developers are uh, very often confused with this term pull and pull request but these are entirely two different things if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and uh, motivate me to create more videos happy getting thank you so much